Hello friends. Um, I did dye my hair yesterday. Wow. It's also back in a ponytail. I don't have a pixie cut. I keep filming a bunch of videos and I'm like, these are boring. I don't know if anyone will watch them. So I just <laughs> delete them before I even start editing them. Like I filmed a video of me dyeing my hair yesterday, but that won't ever see the light of day. So I've been working on making a bunch of different necklaces. If you don't know, I own a business called Rebirth Jewelry. In January, it's actually gonna be the three year anniversary of it, wow. which is kind of crazy and I've been really into making necklaces lately so I thought I would show y'all the ones that I've made already but then also kind of talk about like what I'm gonna be doing next because I want to make as many necklaces as I can also if you're interested in picking up any crystal jewelry you can go to my website rebirthjewelry.com or I'll have it linked down below and you can use code YouTube 10 to save 10% off your first order sorry I sound like I'm doing a commercial but uh, you know we all have bills to pay. I have all of my necklaces sitting on my record player right here, you know, very organized. It's just when I first made them, I wasn't able to finish them, so I just have them like laying down because I need to put on like the clasp and everything. The first kind of set of necklaces that I did were kind of playing in with like the metaphysical purposes of all the crystals. So these are gonna be like magic necklaces. I'm dropping everything. Okay, so the first necklace was going to be or is for money manifestation. I have one available in gold and silver. I'll show the silver because the gold isn't finished and it's just like hanging on a fucking and it's just like <laughs> great. I just dropped the gold one. I was going to show you that it wasn't finished. It was just hanging on a clip. Now it's all over the carpet. So I'll be redoing that one today. But the silver one's finished. I'll show you this. This is a necklace for money manifestation. Right here at the bottom is citrine. Citrine is a good crystal for manifestation and bringing abundance. Then there is pyrite, which is also known as fool's gold. Good for money. Then there's green adventuring, which is for good luck, courage. And a lot of people will pair all these crystals together as like and use it in a money spell. So I thought it'd be cool to have it as a necklace. And then right here at the top, there is some more citrine. For these necklaces, I wanted to do them in three six nine because if you're familiar with like spiritual practice or like manifesting there is a manifesting technique that's three six nine so I kind of wanted to like kind of embody that a little with this necklace although like three six nine but then there's also like an extra set of nine beads there in the back yes over explaining as always I need to put the clasp on this one I also have it available in gold I won't be showing you because it will also end up on the floor because it's not finished this one is for protection so I have a bunch of different crystals that are good for protection and my Apple watch is trying to listen to me here's what I found you ever like talk about someone and you're scared like your Apple watch is going to send them a text or call them and then you just are scared that the person is going to hear exactly what you fucking said about them. I mean, it's nothing bad, but like you ever like vent about your mom to your friends, but it's like you wouldn't want to say all that stuff to your mom's face. Anyway, my mom doesn't watch my YouTube videos. This crystal necklace is made with amethyst, labradorite, La hello, flash, flash, flash. Okay, my face is probably just taking up all of the focus. And then right here is black obsidian. And then at the top is more amethyst. Again, going, this necklace is the 369 technique or design. And then in between all of the crystals, there is like a little spacer bead. And this is what it looks like. How cool. Well, it's what it probably will look like. I need to put the clasp on still. Next is, next is another spell type thing. This one is for love. It's a little bit different. Right here at the bottom, there is rhodochrosite. And these rhodochrosite beads are one of the most fucking expensive beads I've ever bought. So like the other designs, it has like the three and then it's usually up here, but I didn't want this necklace to cost a trillion dollars. So I decided to go with other crystals. Right here on the sides is some more rose quartz. There in there is carnelian and then at the top is garnet so this is the love spell necklace Gorgina. I can't tell if it's in focus or not, but the rose quartz is like blending into my pasty skin. So that is it for the spell necklaces, but I have other necklaces that I made. I'm sorry if this is boring, but it's very exciting for me. <laughs> I really want to try and use as many of the beads that I have as possible before the new year, just so I can like sell all these necklaces and kind of have a fresh start for 2024. But this first necklace is mainly rose quartz and moonstone. These star beads, right? I just need 
need to fucking get out of the frame because I feel like it's not focusing on the necklaces. It's like looking at me. Okay, let's focus. So this first necklace is basically just made with rose quartz. The star beads are like carved rose quartz, which is super gorgina. And then all these little circular beads are of course rose quartz. Then these little silver stars are made with silver plated hematite. And it's just a super girly girl cutesy necklace. And then the little purple beads are made with amethyst. I think it's like Nah. It's, I think it's gonna be a smidge longer than those spell necklaces. This necklace is also pretty similar in design. It has those rose quartz stars with some rose quartz beads. And then I put in and used those rhodochrosite beads. This necklace is probably gonna be a little more expensive because the rhodochrosite beads are expensive. Right here at the bottom, or it's gonna be like the center of the necklace when you wear it, there is two of those hematite star beads. I have this necklace made in gold as well, but I'm not gonna show it. I also would need to redo it because I don't like how the star beads are laying, but it uses those rhodochrosite beads, and then there is also some sunstone, and then rose quartz star beads, and some spacers, you know, just a little bit of a girly girl moment. Last but not least, I made my dad's wife her Christmas gift. Just because I feel like she is someone that would enjoy a handmade Christmas gift more. She is a pagan witch. She's super fucking dope. She is an amazing painter artist. So I just feel like she would enjoy a handmade necklace and earrings. The first time I met her, she's actually wearing moonstone. So I just like assume in my head that she just really likes moonstone. I made her these earrings. It matches the necklace set. So it just has some moonstone and then some kind of like spark sparkly little beads that all match the necklace I made for her. So this is going to be a set. Probably hard to tell. So it's a necklace set. The longer necklace in the back is just a chain and then it has a peace sign. But the beaded necklace is a little more fun. This has a bunch of moonstone and then it's just similar beads of the earrings. I used some silver antique beads. I just felt like her vibe was a little more. I didn't want them to like look brand new because I just don't feel like that's her vibe, okay? Most of those necklaces I made probably like over a week ago. Then I made Colleen's necklace two days ago. And then last night I made these other necklaces that are hanging on my door. I don't know if you can see. Let me go grab those ones now. I made a couple necklace sets maybe like a month or two ago. And to be honest, they left my followers gagged because they were so cute. <laughs> to make like a couple more since those necklaces were like the most desired and quickly bought. So they're pretty similar in design as the ones that I came out with but this one is a tiger's eye set and then this black part right here is black obsidian. In the center, in the center right there, there is some gold plated hematite, star beads, and then I put a little star charm on this tiger's eye pendant just to like make it a little more matchy matchy. I am selling some of these plain tiger's eye pendants. If you like them, you can pick them up on my website. They're only in gold though. I'll have them linked down below. And this is pretty similar in design, I would say. I wanted to try and use all these star beads because it seemed like people really liked them. In the center there is amethyst and hematite stars. The pendant is just amethyst and then I put another star charm on it. On the side is labradorite. Super high quality. You can see that beautiful fucking flash. And then on the top is some smoky quartz. This necklace would be really good for protection, also calming and grounding. Gorgina beautiful. I really fucking love the colors of these. Beautiful. So for my goal today, I wanted to try and make as many necklaces as I could and then use up um, as much of the supplies that I have as I can because I just need to refresh, you know. New year, new but also same rebirth jewelry. I'm just gonna make a time lapse of me making the necklaces because I don't like talking through like the design process or like making stuff because I never know like what I'm making until like it's done. So let's get started and make these necklaces. I feel like my Adderall is like starting to kick in and I need to do something productive before I get distracted and do something I'm not supposed to be doing. But before I make the necklaces, I have to pick up this money manifestation that's laying on the carpet. Here you can see it's spreaded all over the carpet. You probably can't see because my rug has a design. To get in the zone, no pun intended. Sorry, my mouth just made that noise. I just put on my headphones and I turn on Britney Spears. Music on, <laughs> world out, you know what I mean? World out. Jewelry making on. I just look like I have a fucking bowl cut. <laughs> I need to stop putting my hair in a ponytail. 
I didn't film myself finishing all of the necklaces because I thought that'd be boring. But here they are hanging, looking so Gorgina. I mean, some of them are like crooked, but just imagine. All these different stars. These are already on my website, but they haven't sold. So these are the only three that haven't sold. But I think they're very beautiful. So let's go make some new shit. My headphones keep beeping and they're gonna die, so I just took them off. And my dog keeps farting, so I think he's gonna have to use the bathroom. So, which means I'm gonna have to stop working so we can go for a walk. But I did a little time lapse of two necklaces I made, so we can talk through those real fast. Damn fucking tripod. I really need to make necklaces for the silver girlies because I think, I would say most of my customers are on the silver side, unfortunately. That's sarcasm, so don't be pissed off at me. The first necklace I did is with smoky quartz and black obsidian. I'm almost done with this fucking smoky quartz, but we have three, three, what I do on the side, five. Yeah, five, and then seven pieces of smoky quartz in the back. I like this, very like mysterious, kind of a little goth. And I've officially worked through all this fucking tiger's eye. It's not my favorite crystal, but I think if it's irritating me this much, then maybe I should like work with it. <laughs> but at the bottom, come on, let's get in focus here. I guess it doesn't help that I have a bunch of pictures of eyeballs in the back that it wants to focus on. The bottom is citrine and then the gold plated hematite stars, very celestial. And then in the back we have some tiger's eye. I think this one is not too long. It'll probably be a choker on me. Yeah. I don't know, I might add some jump rings or something to give it a little more length. I would say this is probably like 15 inches. Maybe I'm being generous. I'll probably add some length to it. But I don't know, it kind of looks fucking dope. Like this choker. I wouldn't be able to wear it at this length because I feel like it's suffocating me. But I like it. It's cute. And then you could like layer it with something else longer too if you wanted. I kind of love this citrine and star combo. Don't have any more citrine, but I have moonstone. So I feel like I could probably make something similar with the silver stars in the moonstone. Maybe smoky quartz and silver stars would also look kind of cool. Noted. I need that. That, that is noted. I gotta try and take this off without choking myself. Whew. That took way longer than it should have. <laughs> but look how pretty it is, so sparkly. I'm finally learning from my mistakes, and if a crystal is warm toned, then I'm not putting it with silver, and vice versa, because it takes forever to sell, because most people don't like the contrasting tones. It's like almost one. I kind of have like a hankering for something salty. Like I could go for like a wavy potato chip, but I don't keep stuff like that in my house. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have some cheese and crackers. I also have some honey crisp apples I should probably eat. So maybe I'll do a mini charcuterie board. I've been really into these crackers. They're the Crunch Master multi-seed crisps. Very crunchy. They don't taste like a Ritz cracker. They're like very seedy. I'll show it to you. Let's see. Our special blend of sesame, quinoa, flax, and amaranth seeds is what gives our crackers a good crunch. You heard it here first. Yeah, it just basically looks like bird seed. <laughs> I think that's a good description. See? Like really good and crunchy. I think it pairs beautifully with any cheese. I've been really, for the longest, longest time, I was really obsessed with like a super sharp white cheddar. But now, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. I've been obsessed with Parmesan. I'm just, mm, 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 mm. I'm sure that's not helping the salt cravings. Also, I kind of like prefer more of like the rind part of Parmesan. <laughs> not sure if that's a hot take, but I still do have some white cheddar I need to get through, so. I'll just chop that up anyway. I probably could use some sharper knives, but my boyfriend and I want to buy a house soon, hopefully by the summer, if not sooner. So I'm saving all of my wants and needs for household items until we move or someone could buy them for me for a housewarming gift. Just like after you eat Parmesan and then have the white cheddar, it's like, 
what is this, mozzarella? There's like no fucking flavor. But I don't think I'm ready to be a blue cheese girl either. I had blue cheese on a salad like during the summer and I was like, oh my God. So this is what you're fucking talking about. Moldy ass fucking cheese. Disgusting. I couldn't do it. Basically just wasted $20 on a fucking salad. No offense to the blue cheese lovers. Maybe one day I will be able to get on that level. My dad really loves blue cheese, so maybe it's in my genes. I'll be a blue cheese lover soon. Maybe it just comes with age. I'll keep this all out over here just in case. I mean, I'm probably not gonna eat this all anyway, but so I can put it back later. I'll throw in some cashews for some other extra protein. Not sure how much protein cashews actually have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I guess I'll allow myself to have one of these once I finish my apples. I got these at Kroger last night. They're the milk chocolate sea salt caramels. I didn't know they were individually wrapped, but I think that's for the better because I got like a bag of these at TJ Maxx and they didn't come individually wrapped and I just like couldn't stop eating them. They're so good. Sea salt. What's wrong with me? My mom's addicted to salt, so I think maybe that's the answer to that. All right, I don't even want to tell y'all this, to be honest, but I will. I'll, I'm going to put you on one more thing. So I'm on Water Top. I'm too cheap to buy a Stanley, but I think I got this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for like not even 20 bucks. But let me tell you about this. <laughs> Blackberry Lemonade. Great value. So this is Walmart. You can only get this at Walmart. I think maybe Crystal Light has their own version, but I'm a Walmart girly. I'm a knockoff girl. This is so delicious. I really love the idea of raspberry lemonade and strawberry lemonade, but that is like way too tart for me. I don't really like it, but I tried this and I'm like, this is sweet. It's delicious. It's like $2 for a box, which I know is like not that big of a deal. There's 10 packets inside. I mean, I need at least two of them to fill up my water bottle. So what I've been doing is I'll do like one serving of this and then I'll fill up the rest of like my glass with lemonade. So it kind of like slightly waters down the black berry lemonade, but it's still like you can taste like the flavor and then it just makes my little packets last a little bit longer. Check these out if you want. They're also sugar free if that matters to you. If you're also on water talk, are you on ASMR talk? That probably like does not sound nice at all. <laughs> We need to go make jewelry again. You want a hot body? You want a Bugatti? You better work, bitch. You want jewelry sales? You want to be an entrepreneur? You better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. So get to work, bitch. Burn, 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 burn. Uh-huh. I just dropped a bunch of apples. And I just dropped my headphones. They're also dead. And I didn't charge them while we were having lunch. But I do have AirPods that I can use. So I'm gonna use those instead. I just don't like wearing them because they hurt my ears and I feel like they always slide out. And I also have this girl, her name's Enya. She's from Spy Family, if anyone watches that show. My boyfriend's slowly turning me into a weeb. I mean, we've been together for over five years, but this last year I've really been starting to get into anime, which is unfortunate because I'm starting to fall in love with a lot of animated men. Hey, my man. Thank you to my man. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a podcast. I don't wanna say I'm Britney spears out, but I am a little bit, but maybe like in an hour or so, I won't be thinking of that anymore. But I'm gonna put on this podcast called Clothes Horse. It's really, really cool. You should check it out. It's mainly about like slow fashion and like sustainability. They also talk about like small business stuff, which is cool. So go check her out. She also has an amazing Instagram. I, sometimes I like repost her stuff on my story, but this is called Slow Fashion Is Not A Trend with Michaela Friedman, Friedman. So, so I'm gonna put this on and start making more jewelry. Here's how the necklace ended up coming out. Since I wanted to be like a choker, I just focused like all of the crystals and the beads in the front in hopes that like, you know, you're paying attention to that side. And then in the back, I just have some chain. I threw in another necklace so you can kind of see what it would look like stacked, but I want it to be a choker. So it's definitely like, 
a little bit tighter than my other styles, but I think this is probably like 16 inches and this necklace right here is on an 18 inch strand. So I like how it looks. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily like wear them together. I'm not a silver girly, but I like the idea of how they lay on each other. It is 520 right now. I feel like I did nothing today, but also a lot. I guess I just fucking made jewelry. Then I guess that's my job, right? I have not made this many necklace designs, like, or duplicates before. I've been doing a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces, but I went ahead and made four of the silver designs that I showed earlier. The design is moonstone and then silver or gold plated hematite beads in between. I'll put one on so you can see. I think it's just like with necklace making, it takes so much fucking longer to make them. So I have like less to show of a result of it, which makes sense. But then at the end of the day, I'm like, what did I fucking do? Okay. I have like acne all over my neck, so don't mind me, but Here's what it looks like. It's about 16 inches. I really like it that it's kind of shorter, so then you can stack it with other necklaces. This is the Labradorite pendant. It's on my website right now, and it's on an 18 inch strand, and I think it just pairs very beautifully together. I also love the star beads, very whimsy gothic, very cute. We love, we love. I need to go walk my dog and then I'm gonna go to this local pokey place. I've been meaning to try, I think they opened up a couple months ago, which I'm really excited for because the only place that I could get pokey in town closed down like two years ago. So it's been quite difficult to get pokey. I usually like have to get it whenever I'm out of town. So I'll let you know how that bowl is, which I'm sure hopefully will be scrumptious. I already told you about the Clothes Horse podcast, but she also does this, I don't know if it's like her side business or what I don't know would be like the best word for it. Her and this vintage reseller that I follow, they have another business called Small Biz Big Pick. I'll just post a fucking picture of it on the screen. But it's self-care, help niche, branding, marketing, and Instagram support. And it's 25 bucks a month and they have like a class once a month. And I signed up for it at the beginning of December. Today is the class of the month. And it's from seven to nine. So I'm gonna eat dinner with Pablo when he comes home and then attend my little class. I've never like taken any sort of business classes. So I'm really excited for this. Because if you didn't know, I have a degree in psychology. So with the business, we're just learning as we go. And with the help of YouTube and my mother, I guess, um, you know, I'm constantly being educated. All right, homies, it is 9.18. I need to get ready for bed. But that was about it for my day. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to pick up any pieces from Rebirth Jewelry, you can head over to my website. I'll have it linked down below. You can use code YouTube10 to save 10% off your first order. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate you so much. I hope you had a bitchin' day, bitch. Peace.